first thing I ever learned to play on guitar <laughs> from my buddy was this riff, classic riff, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. This is a special request going out to a patron, Martha Stepes in St. Cloud, Minnesota, wanted to know how to play this so she could rock this song out with her son. This is a riff that everybody should know. Let me show you the first, the easy single note way, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it with chords and a couple of strumming flares that are sure to uh, make people throw the goats at you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Stu Fuchs. This is Ukulele Zen. I'm all about helping you to approach music in a way that's not only more effective for your learning, but more relaxing for your soul. Thanks for being here. Please click subscribe if you get some value out of this. And if you're interested in joining our community, there's all kinds of goodies at the Patreon link below, jam tracks, PDFs, tabs, all that good stuff. Let's jump right into the lesson. To play this song, what we gotta do is just pick the open A string, open three, five, then open three, six, five, then open three, five, three, open, open. Let's say it together, okay? If you can say it, you can play it. Note the fingering I'm using. I'll talk about that in a moment. Two, three, four. Open three, five, yeah. Open three, six, five. Open three, five, three, oh, oh. Do it again now. Open three, five. Open three, six, five. saying it helps to not only um, solidify the fret numbers but gets the melody in your head and you can even do a little Beavis and Butthead if you like. Now take a look at the fingering and this is a wonderful habit for the left hand to leave the fingers down. See I used open then I used my first finger then my ring finger. The tendency is naturally to lift up these fingers but a great habit is to leave them down not because you're squeezing them but because they're relaxed, they stay on the strings, then our technique allows us to access those notes more quickly. If we wanted to go back there, all we have to do is lift up this finger, voila, it's right there. Stay down because they are relaxed. When you get to the open string, you can even completely relax this hand, take it off the neck entirely. Now, when you play this riff supported by chords, all these melody notes are going to be supported by a chord beneath. So the first chord is A major. See how there's that melody note, open A string. Next is your C chord. And you may wanna play this with your pinky because the next chord, you're gonna slide that pinky up to the fifth fret for the melody note and then drop the bar right there for your barred D major chord. Let's try that together, nice and slow. And then you do it again. Now we're gonna go up to the sixth fret and barring at the third fret, and we move down. So that's an E flat D. Do it again, move up this time. Now, now just C and A. Okay, so using the pinky can help prepare that barred shape. Now, if you wanna add some heavy metal flair to this, hold down your A chord and we're gonna add this rhythm. Let me do it slow and then we'll increase the tempo gradually. The pattern is down, up, down, up, and I'm really bringing the finger up. As you're moving faster, gonna to wanna to make sure that you're only using the very tippy tip of the finger. Down, up, down, up. You don't want the finger to get stuck on the string. Down, up, down, up. Here we go. Okay, so you begin with a down, end with an up. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, slower. Always slow things down. Allow your practice to be a relaxing way of integrating the new motions. Here it is, put together with the flares, with the chords. I'll even throw a few fan strokes in there. Un, du, ka, ka.
smoke on the water. I know you were singing along. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Click here to watch more videos of this nature. Quick tips that you can put into your playing right away. Really appreciate you being here. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends. Hope ukulele and music is making your day wonderful today. I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks.